Got an issue with my cart. The tires that came with it were four ply and they kept getting holes uh, driving across the fields. Uh, I was able to find these six ply on Amazon for a really good price, but they have really big knobbies on them uh, that stick out a little bit. They stick out of the sides. And it's rubbing here on the leaf spring. Uh, but the leaf spring is welded in place. Uh, and it only does it on this side. The other three tires work fine. Uh, so I'm going to take this apart and see if there's a, a way that I can shift this tire out a little bit just to pull it away from this leaf spring. So just a simple four bolt hub. You can actually see where it's rubbing right there and on the front too right there. And if we look over at the tire it's taken the corner off of that that knobby. Now um, I could just modify this tire so that it's not a problem but that's kind of stupid because I'll if I ever change the tires around or buy a new set I'm gonna have the same issue. So I think what I'm gonna do is make a spacer here. I think I only need maybe a, a quarter inch Maybe a, maybe a little bit more, and I've got plenty of length on these bolts, and it'll just move that, that wheel out a little bit. So I measured outside to outside and got 4.51, or 4 and 510 thousandths. The uh, diameter of the bolt was 493 thousandths, so when you subtract you get four and seventeen thousandths. That would be the dimension from left to left or also the same as uh, center to center, which is what I'm interested in. So that is my diameter for the bolt circle and the radius is two and eight thousandths. So I'll be using that to make the matching bolt circle on the uh, piece that I'm fabricating. I'm going to use this piece of scrap mild steel here.
2.2. So setting up my bolt circle, I'm going to just start at an arbitrary point. Now, I know my radius, I figured this stuff out before. The distance between centers on this bolt circle was 4 and 17 thousandths, so the radius is 2 and 8 thousandths. So draw a little triangle, 2 and 8 thousandths, 2 and 8 thousandths, x squared plus y squared equals the hypotenuse squared. And then the, you do the math, it comes out to 2, 8, 4, 0. So I have set my calipers to 2, 8, 4, 0, and I put them on that punch mark I just made and then scratch across my circle. Now I'm going to use my dividing calipers and set them to that dimension. Now if this is right, I ought to be able to walk right around the circle. Bingo! There you go. All right, we're ready to do some drilling. So I really haven't tried this thing yet. And uh, part of me wonders if I got the, the bolts right. Yeah, I knew it was gonna be iffy. You know, actually, I think I, I do have them right, but the bolts aren't perfectly straight. It almost goes on there, even though those things are sticking out. But I only had about, I think, four or five thousandths of clearance on each hole to go around the stud. So I was expecting to have to go up to the next hole size, so that's what we're going to have to do. All right, here we go. Let's see if this thing fits. There you go. Almost looks like it belongs there. So you can see now I've got some clearance there. I can fit my finger in between. And it seems like, seems like maybe uh, I overdid it, just looking at that. But the thing is, when you get on a hill, the tire ends up flexing toward it. So it, it's still going to get pretty close. But, uh, but I think we've got it.